One of the frustrations of a wildlife photographer is you're constantly using telephoto lenses, looking down this barrel. Look at this photograph. This is what we as natural history photographers dream of. Nick Nichols was able to get intimate and able to get close. Therefore, you've got this beautiful blue sky. You've got elephants in the background. There's texture to this picture that you seldom see. And that's because of closeness, of patience, and the ability to know this animal and come in with a wide angle lens. Karsten Peter is a wild man. He will go to the depths of the earth, to the crystal caves of Mexico, because he just loves adventure. And because of this curiosity and this intensity, he takes us into these crystal caves, more than 120 degrees. He has to wear a special suit to keep him cool. He can only stay down there for less than an hour. But look at what he's found. Did you have any idea that a place like this existed? One of the most difficult things to do in a photograph is humor. Fritz Hoffman has lived in China for more than 20 years. Here he finds four young people being deprogrammed for online use. They're spending too much time on their computers, something many of us can relate to. For years, John and Eva have photographed elephant seals. Look at this photograph. It's like a stage. It's otherworldly. You cannot believe places like this exist and then, as you go through the frame, you keep coming back to those two huge elephant seals. My one regret of publishing this photograph in 2008 was we couldn't publish it big enough. Greg Gerard has lived and photographed in China for years. He found this village that is a beautiful example of human ingenuity. Those are water lines. The villagers put this together themselves. It was to solve the problem of dirty water with clean water. And then look at the way Greg has composed the photograph. It makes me want to look in this village, to go there, to meet these people who built this line. In this digital age, Rob Kendrick says, no, I want to take the time-honored film photography, large to medium format, and photograph the Tahmara people in Mexico. He wants to take photographs that will last, that are a testament to a time that's changing. How much longer will we be able to make this photograph? This is a man's honest to goodness life. There's an old expression in photography, F8 and be there, meaning the F stop, F8, you point your camera, you make the picture, that's it. But this picture is much more complicated than that. Borneo, Indonesia. Indonesia is the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world because of deforestation. This is a picture that many people in Borneo do not want Matthias Klum to make. And now he's seeing it going up in smoke for palm oil. This is a document of our time.